Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the thumbnail look like what you see on the screen. Well, let's just straight to it. So, basically, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how to use Camera Raw Filter, Magic Bullet Effects, and Topaz Lab. If you need help with getting any of that, just DM me on Twitter and I'll try to help you as much as I can. So, what you wanna do is once you're done with your thumbnail, you wanna go over to Filter at the top and then go to Camera Raw Filter. Alright, once that opens up, Usually what I do is turn my contrast up. Now the settings is really up to you what you want to do. But usually I turn my contrast up. I turn my shadows up. And I turn my whites up. And sometimes I turn my blacks down. And it really just depends on what I want to do. But I do turn my texture up on my thumbnail. And I do turn my clarity up also. So you can up your vibrance in here. Your saturation. I just like keep mine like that right there. Really. But you can add sharpening. And sometimes I do add this and you can also do noise reduction and this will like lower the quality of the thumbnail if you have bad quality you can use that to make it look better kind of at least so next thing you can do to make your thumbnail look better is you can add this right here this light is where it darkens up at the size and I usually do this also so if you want to do that you can do that I add my grain on seven on about each thumbnail, but the grain is preference also. You can see what it looks like if you make it up, and but I like to use seven. So for this down here, I really like this because I can change the hue of the thumbnail. So like, if I wanted to change it to another color, I can do something like this. Or if I would just want to change any color, I basically can change it just like that. So yeah, that's another good thing about that effect. But really, it's just, up to you like you got the um, this right here also just let you change your colors around really so these are some of the effects I use and mostly these effects right here I use them on banners another thing you can do is up the exposure but I usually do most of that when I'm actually in magic bullets but for the temperature you can change this and changing the temperature it will like um, mess with the effects you did down here also and you can kind of tint it and stuff but I usually stay away from the tint and I just do temperature but if I hit OK, then the thumbnail will look like that right after. So it's not that bad, but I just show you some of the basic effects that I do use on most of my um, banners. Not really thumbnails, but they work on thumbnails also. So next thing you do is go to Filter and then Magic Bullet Looks. Now, a lot of people have trouble with Magic Bullet in their Photoshop, but if you do have trouble, just DM me. So with this, um, I'm going to let you guys get all my settings. And if you want to get a setting, you usually just drag your mouse all the way to the right side of your screen. So you can turn these on. Now, I don't use all of these, but basically um, with spot exposure, I'm just explaining a spot exposure. You just, um, when you open up the tool or whatever, you just make a spot. And if you need help with this, just let me know. And you can make this bigger, wider or anything. And whatever spot it is on, let's say if I wanna uh, just make this smaller, like so. And I have it on one spot. If I up the, um, this all the way up, that one spot would just be lit up so it's kind of good if you want to do something like that so if i just want to light his my player up specifically or light a certain area up i can do that so i would do spot exposure if i did use it now diffusion this kind of get like a blur effect as you can see when you zoom in i used to use this a lot but i don't use it that much anymore but the more you up your size with like the settings i got on that's the more that look glow effect you will see on there so if I did use the fusion, that's what it would look like. And you can just copy these settings because that's usually what I have when I do use it. So lens distortion. Really what you do with this, if you just add this on here, it really is just its name. It distorts the lens. And you can change the distortion and stuff like this right here. So if you want to do effect like that, uh, you can do this. And you can just flatten out the image if you want to do something like that also. So it's kind of cool and you guys can figure out how to work you probably better than me but i haven't used it like that so haze flare it's just like um this on the side now the spillage is really up to you but you can see the difference when i take it off and once again you can copy my settings but i really miss with these settings a lot but i don't use them anymore but that's what it will look like now the two script process is pretty simple also and you can turn your exposure compensation up and i usually keep mine zero because i don't really mess with that but you can change your green sensitivity and stuff like this also i usually like to use camera raw filter better for those effects though so auto show i really don't understand that but i usually have my own 
exposure it's pretty simple but self-explanatory it's just your exposure now uh, i will recommend changing them up in every thumbnail if you do use that though now chromatic aberration is basically just gonna be like your glitch effect and i only use green and magenta now a lot of people they usually have these up too high or at least i think because i usually don't like to have mine up that high i usually have mine like around 130 or like 80. sometimes i have it at 200 but i usually don't get past 300 when i do use it if you want it to be visible though that's just up to you saturation is just pretty basic saturation i just have mine on 100 percent with no exposure compensation and for the pop this is like um i don't really know how to explain this filter but i'm pretty sure you've seen other designers use it if you turn it all the way down it'll make the image like it's doing noise reduction or whatever if you turn it all the way up then it just makes it pop more so it's kind of its name so with all that um you can just hit finish when you're done with it and let it load up and the effects will load and i haven't used it so it'll probably just take a little while but if you go back and forth you can see the difference in the effects next thing i do use is topaz left now topaz adjust five is like the only one i use the effects it's a lot of them i you see a lot of designers use crisp because this like was a really good one i'm not gonna lie sneak df it was the reason that i did use this because like he made it look really good but i just use my details now and i start really doing um Chris, I also started using an HDR collection. I started using Topaz Adjust. It's the diamond, dynamic pop one. So this is pretty good. But like my favorite one has to be Chris, but I just don't use it like that anymore. And my details. So you can just apply this and you can turn the details down, turn the screen down, all of this. So it's really a lot you can do with it. Oh, so I would just, if I wanted to use it, this, I can mess with it. Hit apply. Okay. And then last thing I do when I'm done, I just go to my vibrance down here and I turn this up. But yeah, sometimes you really don't need all those effects though because I just go filter topaz labs and the only one I do you choose is mild details like this. And usually I just come back on here then go to filter again and go to noise and I just reduce the noise a little bit. That's usually what I do. And then as I do that, I would just go down here, vibrance up it like this right here and then i would go to um contrast and then put my contrast up or whatever now i just merge visible but that's basically how you use the face in there now you can change it up a lot for yourself but that's just how i use it if you enjoyed the video or learned something make sure you drop a like and subscribe and peace out